Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. We're going to talk about multiple conditions within the switch DAX expression. All right, so today what we want to talk about is three different conditions. I know I said two before, but we're actually going to go in for a third. So we're going to look at these units here. We're going to specify based upon the first unit. If they're in this unit, they're going to be marked as hot, but only if... They have these two trainings and their completion date is over 365 days ago. If they meet all those conditions and they're not in that unit, then we're just going to leave them as overdue. But if they don't meet any of those conditions at all, then we're just going to leave them as blank. Meaning if they have something done within the past 365 days, we're just going to leave it as blank because they're still in compliance. So we're going to click on new column and we're just going to blow this up and we're going to call this automated status. Now you can call it whatever you want and we're going to use that switch statement. We're going to say true. We're going to say training in. So we're going to bring in that in function that we talked about before. We're going to do the curly bracket. We're going to do D93, that's GLV. Remember, this is case sensitive as well. We're going to do double ampersand because we want to meet another condition as well. We're going to go to the next line. We're going to do unit. We're going to do equals now because we're only specifying one. We don't have to do it in. We're going to specify the actual criteria we're looking for. We're going to do another double ampersand. We're going to do completion date. We're going to do less than or equals to today. We're going to do minus 365 days. And then if you meet all those conditions, we're going to put hot. They can always swap it out for something else or another unit or whatever the case may be. And then I'm just going to copy this now because we're going to repeat the same thing. But this is going to be the catch-all for the remainder of the population. And then I'm going to copy this as well. And we're just going to put overdue. This is the value that I want as an output. We're going to say blank now for anything that does not meet the condition. And we're just going to close that up. So overall, this is kind of what your DAX expression looks like, right? We have two different conditions that are here based upon text values. And then we have the third condition, which is based upon the date. And then if none of those are met, we're going to go into the next sequence, which is going to be just looking at it holistically and then providing an output text of overdue. And then anything that's not met once again as a catch-all is just going to be left as blank. And then we just wrap that up. And then now we're just going to filter based upon hot. And then we could see anybody that does not have a completion date is listed as overdue, which is what we want. And then if we search these as well, we can see everything is over a year based upon all the days that we can see here. With that said, thanks for watching. Until next time.